Experiment on VI and PV characteristics of solar PV system. Objective to conduct an experiment on solar PV system and to plot the VI and PV characteristics. Apparatus required the solar panel, rheostat, DC ammeter, and DC voltmeter to measure the voltage and current. Precautions light from source should fall vertically on the solar panel. So like that we need to fix the solar panel in a correct direction so that the sunlight fall vertically on the solar cell. Second, short circuit should not be done for long duration while taking down the reading for short circuit current which leads to damage permanently. So initially we need to take the short circuit current by shorting the positive and negative terminals. So that should not be taken for a long duration. Procedure. Connect the solar panel cable to the module where we can able to read the data. Obtain the open circuit voltage. Obtain the short circuit current by shorting the positive and negative terminals. Then connect the rheostat across the solar input terminal in the module and fix the rheostat at maximum resistance condition. Now vary the rheostat from maximum resistance position towards the minimum resistance position and note down the reading up to the short circuit current. Now you can tabulate the readings and find the power by simply multiplying voltage with the current. So P equal to V into I, you will be getting the power. Plot VI and PV characteristics and find the maximum power point, then voltage at maximum power point and current at maximum power point. Now find fill factor using the formula Fill factor equal to the voltage at maximum power point into current at maximum power point divided by open circuit voltage into short circuit current. So here is the tabular column. So in the tabular column 1, we need to observe the open circuit voltage and short circuit current and we can tabulate the readings like this and you can find the power and at some point you will be getting the maximum power that you need to be noted down. Then in tabular column 2, you need to mention the voltage at maximum power point and current at maximum power point then the short circuit current and the open circuit voltage then finally you will be getting the power at maximum power point so using tabular column 2 you can obtain the fill factor so here is the model graph VI and PV characteristics of solar PV system so initially we used to start taking readings from the open circuit voltage this is the maximum resistance position Gradually the resistance is re uh, reduced so the current starts increasing and it reaches to the short circuit current point here. Okay, So this is how we need to take the reading and you can mark the short circuit current position. Okay, Then using the power value you can use the third axis as a power. So initially the uh, x axis is voltage V and y axis is ampere psi and the, this third axis you can take it as a power which is a product of voltage and current and if you draw you will get this green curve like that and this particular point your current is zero so the power is also zero okay now in this iv curve iv curve that is a red line at the knee of this iv curve where you will be getting the maximum power output that is located over there and this point we call it as maximum power point the voltage corresponding to that point we call it as VMP it is voltage at maximum power point and corresponding current is current at maximum power point so these two take, uh, readings you need to take in order to find out the fill factor uh, the rated value of this VMP which lies between 75 to 90 percentage of open circuit voltage and this IMP is 85 to 95 percentage of short circuit current now let us see some experimental setup. So this is the module where you can able to uh, measure the values and you can able to observe the readings. So here is the solar terminal. Uh, in this terminal only we are going to connect the solar cable. And these are the solar input terminals. So this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. So in this terminal we are going to connect the rheostat. And here you are going to up obtain the uh, solar voltage and the current over here okay using this to display you can able to uh, observe the voltage and current 
Now let us uh, see the experimental setup of this uh, solar PV system. Initially, we need to find the short circuit current of the solar panel. So it can be found by simply short circuiting the positive and negative terminal of the solar panel. Now it reads 4.8 ampere. So the short circuit current is 4.8 amperes. Now we can see the connection. So the cable from the solar panel is connected to this uh, terminal, solar terminal here in this inverter unit and then we can connect the loading resistance here we are using a rheostat so the input terminal which is connected to the positive end of the solar input here and the output terminal is connected to the negative end of the solar so like that you can connect the loading resistance here and the loading rheostat should be kept at maximum resistance position. Now we can vary the rheostat from maximum position towards the minimum position gradually increasing the current up to the rated short circuit current. So here we found that the short circuit current is 4.8 ampere. So the voltage starts to decrease, the current is increasing. So using these data, we can plot the VA characteristics and PV characteristics of solar system. Now the readings are tabulated and here we got a maximum power as 65.52 watts corresponding voltage at maximum power is 15.6 and current at maximum power is 4.2 ampere. Then we can plot the IV and PV curve. So here in this uh, the knee point of IV curve, we get the maximum power point. So the corresponding voltage is VMP 15.6 and IMP is 4.2 ampere. So the maximum power is 65.52 watts. Short circuit current of 4.8 ampere. Open circuit voltage is 20.4 voltage. Then we can enter the, all the values in tabular column 2 voltage at maximum power point, current at maximum power point, short circuit current, then open circuit voltage, then the power. We can find the fill factor. So VMP into IMP divided by V open circuit into I short circuit. So you will be getting 0.66911 that is equal to 66.9 percentage. So like that we, uh, we can find the fill factor. Thank you.